What's Aldi's? The rapidly growing discount retailer Aldi boasts of its superior store brand products, which are advertised to be as good, if not better, than the name brand. I'm here to test that claim by buying, comparing, and reviewing products from both Aldi and the name brand, all in an attempt to save you money and bring this information to you in full circle. Good evening, YouTube. Full circle review back here again with another review. This time we're comparing Aldi's Chokir milk chocolate bars perfect for s'mores with Hershey's milk chocolate because clearly that's the one they're trying to rip off because Hershey's always goes for that s'mores nonetheless I have a Hershey's king size here and all nutritional information will be well well serving size is one-third of this bar at 120 calories 9 grams of fat 15 grams of carbs and 2 grams of protein That's for 25 grams. And for the Chokir, serving size is 43 grams at 230 calories, 12 grams of fat, 26 grams of carbs, and 3 grams of protein. It just does not want to focus today. I think it's the four or five different light sources. There we go. Anyway, we're going to start off with the Hershey's. So each of those bars is 43 grams, and then this bar is a king size, is 73 grams. Would In these Aldi's um, comparisons where I get the Aldi's brands and I compare it to the name brand, do y'all want me to start writing down the prices, keeping the receipts? Because I can. There it is, stereotypical Hershey's. This is a lot thicker than the typical Hershey's bar that I'm familiar with. Typical Hershey's. Soft. Sweet milk chocolate. Really candy like. It's buttery and smooth, but a little bit waxy. Not the highest quality chocolate. I love the flavor. This is what I know. I wish the cocoa was a little bit more natural, a little bit stronger. This has a bit of an artificial bite to it. A little gummy. Nonetheless, this is the chocolate I know and love. This is what I was raised on. I was just curious if it had vanilla in it. Natural flavor. Lectin... Yeah, it's actually fairly natural in comparison to some chocolates. 90 out of 100. This is a hard chocolate to beat. It's just what I know. But they could definitely work on the naturalness of their cocoa. A more distinct, strong cocoa flavor. Less waxiness, more smoothness. I like the butteriness of this. It's just the waxiness distracts. Let's see how the Aldi's Chokir does. It says perfect for s'mores. I have a feeling I'm going to love this because I so far I've loved everything Chokir. Uh, individually wrapped. Twice is nice guarantee. They don't say Chokir, but they have a nice little star design on them. Exact same ingredients. Immediately, this is much more buttery. A lot smoother, more velvety chocolate. Kind of like a truffle. It's a lot sweeter, more candy-like, less chocolate flavors here. But it's a high quality, smooth, buttery bar. I could see this melting very well on s'mores. 
I understand it's a very sweet candy milk chocolate. There's not a strong chocolate flavor here. The Hershey's has a stronger chocolate flavor, but this one's more buttery and less waxy. It has a slightly better mouthfeel. 82 out of 100. It's way too sweet, almost like white chocolate. Um, great butteriness, great, great mouthfeel. The chocolate tastes a little artificial. It's pretty cheap tasting. Um, and it's not as strong as the Hershey's for. So the Hershey's wins here today. I was surprised because typically I like Chokir. Maybe if they did a dark chocolate, I'd like it. But today it loses. Anyway, if you want to see more Aldi's reviews like that, like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and uh, I'll make it happen.